Hello friends, uh, this is my new project. Uh, you can say uh, the bus booking system and I have developed this project in Android Studio. So uh, this is a database based project and um, for database communication, I have used uh, API, right? So API we have developed in PHP and MySQL and the front end panel, the customer end, we have developed in Android Studio. So all of the communication is happening through API. So you need two types of uh, servers here. The first one is Android Studio ID, and the second one is the Jam server for hosting the API, right? And database, we are using MySQL. But as you know that we can't connect Android with MySQL directly, right? It can't communicate with MySQL directly it's because Android runs on the client machine and the server runs on the server machine, right? API runs on the server machine, right? So that's why uh, we have developed api between uh, the android Studio, android application and the mysql application using the php based api system right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right and how uh, what are the modules available inside this project right? so let's start so i am running i am using the emulator for running this project right you can run it on your physical device also so for running this project, you need to import the project on uh, Android Studio and you need to set up the API part, right? So once you import the uh, application in the Android Studio, just you need to run it, right? So I am uh, reloading it. So once I reload it, then this is the folder structure. You can see once I reload it, then you can see my emulator is started and it will load the project, right? So this is the first page that is the splash form and here you can see bus booking system loading database page. So it's communicating, it's connecting uh, our Android Studio with the API, right? So once you uh, uh, load, once the splash form loads the other things, then this page will be loaded. Then you can see some banners are coming on the home page. This is a search vehicle, booking history, my profile, contact us on this, right? So, you can perform these operations and this is the navigation plan then right here you can see uh, all of the things right so if i log out so you can see this is the logout right and this is a login page right so for using the application you must have the login details right if you don't have the login details then you can register it register from here you can register and you can put all of the things here and after that you can log in right if the, so wait let me reload it again because i click the back button two times right so uh, once uh, you log in inside the system then you will be able to book the buses so it will show wait, so it will show that login and register button because you have not logged in first time it was showing the uh, other things because the you had already logged inside the system. So I am going to log in. And then once I click on the login, it will show the login form. Yeah, here I am. I need to enter my username and password. So the met and we read gmail.com and the password is pst. Once I click on this, Yes, I think then the password will be different. I think I forgot one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me check if it works or not. Yeah, oh, no. So let me check it into the database. What's the password? So here in the user tables, you can see this is the MySQL interface. So the user ID is amit at the is gmail.com and the password is test. Oh then why it's not login let me again oh there is two at the rate right so it's a p t s t test right so oh, amit there is a spelling mistake i think what's happening today i don't know right amit period gmail.com and the password is test okay now you can see you have login and the banner is getting loaded here right so 
here you can see you can perform these operations home search plus my bookings and my profile this is the same menu system is available here also so i am going to search bus right here you need to set the city so here i am searching for delhi to there so you can search because i have added root for these uh, so there right if i click on the search then you can see there are two buses available here right if i click select any bus then these are the details vehicle details if i click on the book seat then it will show you the booking form right so i think my emulator is slow little bit slow so here i am entering my passenger details Social be sure and then the child what is the type of passenger so it's a child or what so adult right and then gender is male and passenger is suppose 35 and then add passenger right so the passenger has been added successfully you can see there is a one passenger right okay so if you done if you are done with the add passenger right then here you need to uh, select a seat type economy or business right and the booking date so for which date you want to book right and after that the payment method right so, so payment method is uh, here you can enter the credit okay, card details the total fare is 1500 rupees and here you need to enter the expiry and month of the right so you can add the 16 digit number because without putting the 16 digit number you will not be able to proceed right so here the cv number you have entered just click on the done you can see the ticket booking successfully you can add in any number of passenger right so your booking has been confirmed if you click on the my bookings part right then you will be able to see all of your bookings right so this is your booking list of all bookings which you have made right if you click on the any bookings right you will be able to see the details right uh, this one uh, i think which one i have booked today okay this one the last one you can see this is the passenger details right the daily to go total amount i need to i have paid is 1500 rupees and this is the passenger detail so if you add more than one passenger then it will be listed down here right so this is the my booking parts right if you go on the my profile then you will be able to see the your profile here amit kumar and then city and the house number what's your date is right and then if you want to contact us then you can click the contact us and you can put your text here and after it will be saved inside the database right and then this is the the last one is the uh, about us right so let me show you about us right this is about us part right here you can uh, check the about of the project right this is the about of the project right make thing easier for our valuable customers right so this is the about it is static about it right so these things we have developed inside this project in bus ticket booking system right and also this is a android application we don't have admin application for that but if you need the admin application too then we can develop the admin application in a web app right so uh, as i told you earlier this is a mini project right it has only and only you know, customer login operations on the android side right so these are the features which we have developed inside this project if you need any enhancement if you need any extra feature inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos of the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much